steroid creams. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you what pharmacists learn to help patients use them safely and to their full potential. Please leave a comment at the end of the video if you found any of this information helpful. So, topical steroids come in many different formulations like creams, ointments, and gels. And different formulations are suitable for different areas of the skin. Topical steroids are used in conditions like eczema and dermatitis, when the skin is red, itchy, and sometimes blistered. Now in the medical world, we call this inflamed. But before we learn how to use our topical steroid, it's really important to mention that topical steroids are usually used in addition to your emollient. So never stop using your emollient unless you're told otherwise. And that's Nadia in the background. To demonstrate, I'm using an emollient cream. So please don't get confused that this is how you're meant to use your emollients because emollients should be applied liberally and frequently. So in this demonstration, it's only to demonstrate how you use a steroid cream or ointment. Use thinly. Now you'll see that on your pharmacy label or on the information leaflet with your topical steroid. But how little should you actually use? Well, it's quite simple and we call it fingertip units. And that's the amount of topical steroid squeezed from a normal five millimeter nozzle from your first crease to the tip of your finger, okay? And I like to do it this way so from the bottom to the top, because then you can kind of twist off, close your lid, and that's it. And that is a fingertip unit. Now that we have our fingertip unit, this should cover an area of two adult palms with fingers together. So that's how much it should cover. Each area that you'll be applying the topical steroid to will have a recommended number of fingertip units. So for example, if I was applying the topical steroid to my hand, the front and back of it, the recommended number of fingertip units is one. But let's say you're applying a topical steroid to the entire arm and hand of an adult. Now the recommended number of fingertip units for that is four. And to see a full list of all the areas of the body and the recommended number of fingertip units, I've left a great link in the description below, which I highly recommend you read. Fingertip units also apply for children. However, much less is required because children are much smaller than adults. And this information is also in the link provided in the description. Always wash your hands before and after you apply your topical steroid. Unless, however, the topical steroid is for your hand, which then don't wash it after you've applied it. Now let's move on to some quick and useful tips. Tip one, when applying creams or ointments, always apply in the direction of hair growth. If you apply against it, you're at risk of blocking your hair follicles and you may get an infection. Tip two, if you're using an emollient and a topical steroid, first apply your emollient and wait about 15 minutes so it can absorb and then apply your topical steroid. Now I also made a video about paraffin based emollients and their fire risk a couple of months ago and I'd highly advise everyone to watch it. So I've left a link in the description below, feel free to check it out. Tip three, which is the last tip. Short courses of topical steroids which are fewer than four weeks are generally safe with very few problems. Problems do start to develop though if you're using topical steroids for a long period or you're repeating short courses of strong steroids. Now I've left more information about this in the description below, so feel free to read more about it. Lastly, always read the information leaflet that comes with your medicines. And if you have any questions, ask your pharmacist, nurse practitioner, or doctor about it. And that's it, you're now a topical steroid pro. Let me know if you found any of my tips useful by leaving a comment below which ones you maybe never knew about. And if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, then please hit that like button now. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos. Five millimeter nozzle from your first crease to the end of your thing, thing. Before we learn the best way, God, these guys are so loud today. Give you a thumbs up, man. Oh, is that a thumbs up? <laughs> Thanks. Now please hit that like button now and leave it now. <laughs>